kickboxing. Sweet. Science 2.0 How have you been Dimitri Salida everything s good. Working hard, building a business. Things are coming along, boxing. Sweet. Science 2.0 What do you have coming up DS we have a couple of exciting things happening. We have Yarrell Big Baby Miller fighting November 11, 2017 at Nassau Coliseum in Long Island, New York as a co-feature on HBO Championship Boxing It is a step up for him in competition, and in exposure. Yarrell is one of the few fighters in the sport that talks the talk and fights the best available contenders. November 11 will be another big step on his journey to bringing a heavyweight world title back to Brooklyn, NY, boxing. Sweet. Science 2.0 That sounds exciting. What s following that ds on November 17th, we are co-promoting an event with TGB, a PBC event with Anthony Durrell in Flint, Michigan. It has been our goal to bring consistent world-class boxing to the state of Michigan, which is home to some of the greatest fighters of all time. We've a done that with Clarissa Shields, and now Anthony Durrell who is from Flint and is very successful. We had a press conference recently and I was saying people from Detroit are trendsetters. Clarissa from Flint is a trendsetter. She is making history for boxing, she is making history for the culture, she is making history for women and the sport altogether. She has an amazing story coming from where she came from and being as successful as she is boxing. Sweet. Science 2.0 So you're a working with Clarissa Shields, the WBC super middleweight champion DS Yes I am her promoter. Boxing. Sweet. Science 2.0 She is a friend to our page and she follows us on Instagram as does Anthony Durrell. So what other fighters do you have currently signed to Salida Promotions DS We have over 20 fighters. Let me tell you about the undercard fighters that are fighting on November 11th. Undefeated New York City police officer Dimash Lightning Niles of 135 KOs will fight in a six-round lightweight bout. He is a very good boxer and fights in the lightweight division. Born in Shymkent, Kazakhstan and now residing in Staten Island, NY, then we have Shojan Orgashev 99 KOs, Uzbekistan s popular 25-year-old four-time who currently trains in Detroit and he will be making his U.S. debut November 11, 2017. He has over 60,000 Instagram followers, just to give you a reference on how popular he is in his community. Many world champions don't he have that many Instagram followers. He is a very talented fighter, a hard worker, a hard puncher. We expect him to do a lot of great things in the near future with the added exposure and world-class training he is getting at the Kronk Gym in Detroit, then leading the undercard is Jesse Angel Hernandez 91, 7 KOs, a 26-year-old southpaw from Fort Worth, Texas, who will battle Glenn Desern 901, 6 KOs from Baltimore, Maryland. This is a very good significant fight in the super featherweight division. Then on November 17th we have Alexei Zuboff, a world-rated cruiserweight, 161. He's been living and training in Detroit for two years. He has trained by legendary trainer Jimmy Sugarhill Stewart, nephew of late, legendary trainer Emmanuel Stewart at the Kronk Gym, then we have on the same card fighting at Bantamweight, James Og Smith 12-17 KOs from Detroit and Jarico O'Quinn, a multiple-time national champion who is also very exciting. Those will be the fighters rounding off the undercard, boxing. Sweet. Science 2.0 So what separates Salida Promotions from the other promotion companies? If I am a young fighter, why would I sign with your company DS? We are unique and offer an individualized plan for each fighter we work with. As an example, I have a lot of respect for trainers that are able to take a boxer from the beginning and make them a national champion. That takes real knowledge and an individualized approach. If a trainer can do it with several fighters, he really knows his craft. That is a base you need to have. After that, you can take fighters from a certain point in their career and make them reach their utmost potential. It is very important to see the boxer's individualized potential and make them reach beyond it. That is what we try to do with our boxers. Boxing. Sweet. Science 2.0 This goes to my next question. I remember you. The Russian kid, you are Jewish but fought like a black man. Why don't you look for the next Jewish fighter and use the support you had from Brooklyn to put on huge events? DS I grew up in Starrett City Boxing Club with some of the biggest names in boxing. Some things have come full circle. I am involved with Ka promoting the November 11th show on which Danny Jacobs is the main event fighter on HBO Championship Boxing. I knew Danny since he was 16 years old. I sparred hundreds of rounds with him. I grew up with Victor Roundtree, Danny S. first trainer. Luis Colazzo, Curtis Stevens, Monty Barrett, Shannon Briggs. There is a bunch of very talented exceptional fighters that I grew up with and boxed with. But you know, that is something that just happens by the grace of God. 
It happened and I learned from all those guys. I've participated in very intense atmosphere, very intense training. Every day 5 p.m. to 8 p.m., it was do or die every day. There was no heat in the gym and there was no air conditioning. It was either very cold or very hot. But in the ring it was always very hot. My family immigrated here from a different county. We were on welfare, food stamps, so socially I felt like the kids that came there from Brownsville, even though I looked different. We shared the struggles. We shared the same goals of life, just to get some food on the table tonight. That's what drove me to boxing. It was my escape, my way out of my own ghetto. Jimmy O'Farrow, my late trainer, was quintessential in my life. He has taught me things that a kid with my background would have never been able to learn or experience. I was very fortunate enough to learn and experience many things though his eyes so to say. Jimmy O kind of took me under his wing and adopted me and he was able to show me life from a different side of the world. But you know as life goes on and I experience different things the things that Jimmy taught me, some didnt make sense then but as you experience certain situations those lessons become very real. I am very blessed to be able to experience all those things stare at City Gym with Jimmy oh, I always my eye on the amateur and pro ranks would definitely like to find an upcoming Jewish boxer and I am sure there will be a new star on the way up soon, boxing. Sweet. Science 2.0 I understand you have a daughter. Do you have a son and do they want to box? DS no I have two daughters. Ages 7 and 3. I don't know if they want to box. They are still too young.